This is Danish from jobskillshare.org. This is another important piece in our IT life, that being getting trained. So there's a lot of ways you can get trained, like you know, on the job, somebody's teaching you, but some training could be a little bit more than just you know someone teach you in 30 minutes or they sit down with you and that's more like a cross training. But in this case, let's say for example right now, I am getting trained on a more advanced SCCM uh, you know, features and stuff like that. So for that, I needed a course. So how this is happening in real world right now that I talk to my manager like, okay, I need, I, we have, we're using this and I need more advanced skills in it. So uh, let's take a course in this. So basically she went out and she has a, like a watcher and she basically she put me into this course. Now, most of the time companies have their own uh, you know, and other companies and they have deals with them and then they'll just say, okay, you know, we're going to give you a discount and stuff. But sometimes Microsoft have partnership and they'll give you a watcher so then they can put you in any course. So for example, from your side, what you need to do is to prepare yourself and how you're going to prepare yourself is you need to do registration first. You go to the site, you do the registration, you get the code and then everything is done. They'll get you some emails, four or five emails and you go and sit down and make sure the most important thing is that you prepare yourself ahead of the training. So you should sit down either a day ahead to look at the manual, look at some of the information instructions, or you can do it like 40, 50 minutes ahead. Please don't do it at the same time because there's a lot of things that happen. For example, I have to turn on my lab and they say that you need two monitors for this and maybe another PC to look at the presentation from the instructor. So every every training center is do it different ways. So I have one machine that is a trainer uh, a presentation right there one machine the lab and another one has manual in there this is one machine that has a two monitors and then that's another machine right there in the back so you could have one machine with two monitors two monitors is very important for you in the training so on the one side you can do labs on one side you can see the presenter so if they have more like labs and stuff like hands-on labs and you need three almost two machines because then you have two monitors on one and you're doing labs on one or you could do training on uh, presentation on one and labs on this one so make sure the most important point that I'm saying right here is that one, you you should know that there's trainings online, off-site, with people. That's kind of like training your skills. You're you're getting more advanced skills. And the second important thing is that you need to prepare yourself for training, meaning mentally or physically do it. Another piece that I want to share is that when you're at home sitting on the chair like this, make sure you do stretching, because this could be four six hours of training. Make sure you stretch ahead. And in the middle, do stretches because your knee will definitely get, uh, you know, you'll, you'll find that after, because this, this could take six days. And if you're too in it and you're sitting down and you're not stretching a lot, trust me, after six days, you will not feel good about it. So that's why I wanted to share something. This is what we do. This is my work right now. It's one piece of my work in IT. So I wanted to share that also that you could also uh, be doing something exactly what I'm doing right now. Thank you for watching this video. And we'll share, we'll share more about this uh, skills that I'm learning in our courses. You know, some just little small things. It's not exactly the same thing. This is very different stuff. So we'll see how it goes. Thank you so much. Bye.